Hi guys, my name is Kartik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 2 of our C Sharp for Automation Testing video series. And in this part, we'll be talking about getting started with Visual Studio 2015. So what do I need before starting to work with C Sharp? Well, the system requirement is very very simple. All you need in your machine is this. A machine with Windows 7 or above operating system and Visual Studio 2010 or above installed in your machine. You and I know about Windows operating system a lot, so let's leave that guy. And about Visual Studio, yes, Visual Studio 2015, that's the latest version, and it's a rich integrated development environment for creating stunning applications for Windows, Android, and iOS, as well as modern web application and cloud services. And it has a lot of uh, options, like it has tools and services for projects of any size and complexities. It supports a lot of languages. Of course, Visual Studio is not limited to just C Sharp. It also supports languages like Visual Basic, F Sharp, C++, Python, Node.js, HTML, and JavaScript. And, and there are so many power tools and extensions available where you can make a Visual Studio to support different languages. And also you can do a lot of team foundation server stuff within Visual Studio and there are a lot of advanced debugging, automated and manual testings and profilings. So there are so many things available with Visual Studio and all you have to do is just download the Visual Studio 2015 from the link given below or this one that you can see here from this website which is nothing but the MSDN website and you can then start working with this course. So this is what you require for this particular course. The only software that you require is Visual Studio 2015, which is the latest version. And if you have 2012 or 2013 or Visual Studio 2010, I don't have any problem because whatever code that we can write will still work with any of these versions. But Visual Studio 2015 is the latest and the greatest version. So. Let's quickly see what are the Visual Studio 2015 editions available because it's kind of very very important because while you start choosing which version of Visual Studio will suit you for writing an automation testing, maybe if you're going to work with a code UI testing, then probably you will require one of this, the Visual Studio Test Professional or Visual Studio Enterprise. So you can choose any one of them and you can see there is a bar here with two levels uh, which has a testing tools in here but if you have Visual Studio Enterprise you can see all the bars are pretty much lit meaning it has everything in it. And so you can see that Visual Studio has got a free version which is nothing but Visual Studio Community Edition. So it is pretty close to this Visual Studio Professional Edition you can see here. It has the four bars and it has three bars, okay. And three, three, one, one, three, three, four, four. So that's what Microsoft said during its uh, uh, release of Visual Studio Community. It's pretty close to Visual Studio Professional Edition. So if you have Visual Studio Community Edition, you can do a lot more stuff. You can, you can also write the project with the Xamarin and you can develop a Android application as well as the iOS app. So. But that's not the scope of this whole course. We are just going to write a very, very simple C Sharp code for our automation testing. So that's what is the full focus all about. So that's why don't worry about it. Just understand that Visual Studio 2015 has got these five different editions and community edition is more than enough for you to just freely download from Microsoft website and then start working with this course, right? So, which version are we going to use in this course? I am going to use Visual Studio 2015 Enterprise Edition, but you can use any edition to work with this course. As I already said, you can use your Community Edition as well. No problem. So, let's create our first project in our Visual Studio and then see how it looks like. So, for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. So, I'm just going to open the Visual Studio 2015, which I got. Again, as I already said, it's an enterprise edition. So I'm really not going to talk about the installation of Visual Studio 2015, which is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is just click next, next, and it will start installing that for you. So this is the Microsoft Visual Studio IDE, or otherwise called as Integrator Development Environment. And here you can see there are a lot of options available. We are going to touch little options uh, here because it's too much 
and you can see there are so many options available and based on the language which you're working with these options will also be changing so for now we are going to create a new project with Visual Studio for our C Sharp project right so I'm just gonna select file and for creating a new project I am going to go to this new and you can see there is something called project right I'm just gonna select this project and this will bring me up a new project window and you can see there are different kinds of technologies available within this Visual C Sharp and if you have other languages like C++ or Visual Basic or F Sharp installed into your Visual Studio then you will also see that available in this template but as of now I'm not interested and even I have not installed any of these uh, these languages if I go here to the Visual F Sharp it says that install Visual F Sharp tool so I really don't have uh, this Visual F Sharp tools installed in my machine because I don't really know what it is so I'm just going to hide this guy and let's go to Visual C Sharp and here there is other confusing stuff available what is this technologies Windows web Android cloud cross-platform extensibilities oh my god there's so much thing right but don't worry about it if you are developing a application for your Windows operating system you may either be developing a Windows form application remember your calculator application which was their Windows 7 operating system that's the one which you can develop using this Windows form application or for example this application the putty configuration this application is otherwise called as a Windows application so in order to develop this kind of application you need to choose Windows form application or if you want to develop a WPF application or Windows presentation foundation application then you can select this project or if you want to develop a console application which is nothing but a black screen command line application kind of stuff then you can select this console application and there are so many other different projects available and this guy the class library project is also a interesting stuff because the class library project is a DLL project you might have seen this in your selenium all these libraries are available as DLLs so if you download a selenium server or a selenium client they will be something like a DLL files so what is this DLL It's a dynamic link libraries and these dynamic link libraries are kind of compiled codes and but they are not exes but you can use the methods within inside these DLLs to perform certain operations so I'm not going to really go deep into those uh, concepts but just keep in mind that these are some of the most useful uh, projects that we may be developing in this course as well right all right and about web application if I select you can see there's an ASP.NET web application so you can develop a MVC or application right from this ASP.NET application and this is the Android as I was talking about so you can create an Android application using Xamarin and you can create a cloud apps you can do a lot of stuff with this so again these are not our scope of this course we are going to write and understand how C sharp works right the most basic thing so that's why I'm gonna select a console application this time and show you how to create a very very basic project for our C sharp course right so I'm just gonna select this console application and I'm gonna give a name for this project so the name for this project you can give right here and it says there's a location so this is the location where your project will be actually saved and this will be your solution name so every project will have a solution in it and within a solution you can have any number of projects kind of confusing right don't worry about it just remember this within your solution you can have any number of project so while creating a project you will have a solution name by default so it doesn't mean that the solution name and the project name should be same you can differentiate that as well so you can give console application for the solution name 
but for the project name you can give console application one or console application two whatever you want to so i'm just going to give the solution name as console application but the project name this time i'm going to give as c sharp basic and if i hit ok you can see that it's creating a project for us and you can see that the solution name is console application but the project name so this is a project and its name is c sharp basic right and again there is some other stuff here like properties references app.config and program.cs so we will really talk about that but just keep in mind that program.cs is a file in a physical directory of your machine which actually has a class called program and it has a method within this again don't worry about it we will be getting back to what is class what is method and what is the entry point of the program all those stuff in upcoming videos of this video series so once again thank you very much guys for watching this video have a great day